Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, The Awkward Book Nerd. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am doing my January wrap-up. I know it's kind of late, and I'm sorry for that. Um, life's been a little hectic because I just started taking classes again, plus I'm still working. So I'm trying to get back in to a like good schedule where I can film and study and still go to work and stuff. And so... I'm trying to find a good system where everything works out and I can still give everything equal amount of time. So it's still in the process right now. So my videos might be a little late coming out or may not be as frequent for the moment, but that is okay. I'm still gonna make videos. I'm still gonna talk about books. So the important things are still gonna happen and I'm still gonna read books, of course. So I decided I would finally film my January wrap up for you today so they didn't have to work and I could take a break from studying. So here we go. I only read three books in January, which honestly still win because I've still been struggling from my slump. It's really been hitting me and it's just, it's been difficult. But I think I'm slowly kind of getting out of it uh, just from how like each month since the, like since December or January or November of last year, I've been reading more and more books. So I'm hoping it'll break by the time spring comes and I can really like get stuff going with my reading but anyways so i'm just gonna dive right in and start talking about the books i read and yeah so the first book i read was this time will be different by miso sugira um i gave this a four out of five stars um i enjoyed the story and the characters um there were a few things that i was just a little like eh about uh Partially, I think it mostly had to do with like the plot. I felt like there was just a lot of things happening in this book. So like you had the main plot, of course, but then you had like little subplots underneath. And I felt like there was just a lot going on at points where I just was a little overwhelmed, but also like maybe those plots weren't, like not all of those plots were maybe necessary for the story. Um, I'm not positive, I'm not a writer, so I obviously have no experience in what I'm talking about. But to me, it just kind of felt like um, there was just, like, kind of too much happening at some points, uh, just to try and, like, get the story moving, maybe, I don't know, but that was just, like, the only thing I really had an issue with, um, otherwise, I enjoyed the characters in the story, um, I thought, like, the, the racism and, uh, like, prejudice conversations in general were handled pretty well um and yeah that's kind of all I have to say for it uh it was good I think it was a little disappointing because I was expecting it to be a little bit more but that's okay um j also just in case you don't know this is about a girl who works in a flower shop with her aunt and it's kind of a flower shop that it's a flower shop that's been passed down in her family um since like they immigrated to america and um during i think i don't even know what year it was but i think it was during world war ii when they had the japanese concentration camps um her family, her like grandfather, I think, or her grandmother, or one of them, um, was put into this concentration camp. And at one point, the flower shop had been sold to this white family who had swindled them out of the flower shop um, once they had to go into the internment camps. And then once they got out, the grandfather like worked really hard to buy it back. And um, so when you start the story, you find out that the flower shop isn't really doing well. And um, the only like thing that could really make it better is selling it. But the thing is, the only people who want to buy it are the same people who, like same descendants from the original white family who bought it before. So it's like a whole thing about just like, um, like history and family and just obviously race and stuff like that so it was really interesting coming from that viewpoint and I enjoyed uh reading the history aspect of it too just because I'm a big fan of history so I liked um learning a little bit just about her past and her family um I think the other issue like and it wasn't a main issue I had was with her mom because it just felt like her mom was just 
really difficult and it was a little annoying but also like it eh. I'm not a mom so whatever but yeah so that's kind of all I have to say for this one um sorry it's not a lot it's been a while since I read it but I did enjoy this so hopefully you will too the next two books I read were mangas because I was in a slump and I was like I need to read something but I don't have the capacity to read a full book so I grabbed a manga because I loved them. So I finally actually grabbed two that I've been meaning to read. Um, the first one was volume one of Waiting for Spring which I gave five out of five stars because it was cute and I really did enjoy the story overall. Um, I have I think two and I don't think I have the third one but I might have the third one but I eventually want to move on to those two as well. So yeah I loved this. Uh, in case you don't know it's about a girl who she like struggles to make friends. She's very shy and just kind of self-conscious and so uh, she the only thing she does is like she goes to school and then she has a job in a cafe and so she like wants to try and make friends and talk to people and be able to go out with people but it's like a struggle <laughs> so she by accident makes friends with four guys from the basketball team and from there they kind of just make themselves home in her life essentially and um she might have a little crush on one of them but who knows um but it's super cute i enjoy the friendship aspect too like they become friends like so not quickly i don't want to say quickly but they become like pretty good friends and then like that's when she starts kind of developing feelings a little bit so i appreciate that too um but again i thought it was cute and i'm excited to read the second one all right and the last thing i read was love and focus volume one um i gave this also five out of five stars i thought this was super adorable it's about a girl whose grandfather dies before the story starts and so he taught her to love photography and she like after he dies she doesn't really know what to do with herself so her childhood friend invites her to go to the school with him where um, they have a really good photography club and it's being taught by a professional photographer so she decides to take him up on this offer since like she like needs to get out of her grief and stuff and she moves in to this boarding house where a majority of them are in the photography club except for one guy and that one guy kind of sparks her interest because he like hides his face and doesn't like photography and doesn't like his fig oh he doesn't like his picture taken and so she's like very intrigued and she wants to photograph him just because he doesn't like to be photographed and she's like quirky and weird and it's super cute and it's funny because her childhood friend like loves her but she's so oblivious to it and he like is getting like super not super jealous but you could tell he has moments where he's just like how is she not seeing this but it's super cute in general and i like um the artwork in it and just the idea of like photography being her hobby because um i i like photography too so i like uh being able to share that with the main character um it's cool it's interesting seeing what she finds like beautiful and like the pictures she takes and stuff so I definitely enjoy that and I'm intrigued to see how this goes with this like triangle happening so we'll see <sighs> alright so that is all I have for you in this video um hopefully you liked it hopefully I'll have something else soon um I think I have I filmed a vlog so maybe I will put that up soon hopefully uh we'll see and yeah if you like the video, please like it down below. If you have any comments or questions or something, please put all that down below as well in the comment section. If you are not good at commenting, I'm going to go ahead and say leave me an emoji down below. I'm still in the idea for my friend Sylvia for wish fulfillment. And if you want to see more videos from me, please subscribe down below. You are all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.